The poem is called Universe. <laughs> I had like a meltdown in the back as I was trying to write, so I had to memorize another one, so I found it out. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Dear Universe, you are something that complicates. Compli ah. <laughs> oh, Universe, you are something that complicates. Wait. Dear universe, you are something that contemplates at my mind more than a five-year-old trying to comprehend quantum mechanics. You seem to be limitless, for you are ever expanding until the ends of heaven without the slightest of thought of slowing down. When I think of you, I think of religion, which brings me to the most contradictional couple to ever exist. Yes, science and religion. You two are my yin and yang. You give out perfect harmony without knowing it. For example, if we were all scientists, we would all drive ourselves insane in the search for perfection and logical answers. But if we were all religious, we would drive ourselves to war and inhumane society, the fight, fighting over whose God was right and whose God was right first. I know you two fight over the table to see if all fuck nah. I don't know why my hefa forced me into such a contradictional situation where I have to obey one man who has these ten universal laws that dictate everything. I had no consent to give to her to say, oh yeah, mom, totally. I just want to give a dollar every day at church and help out. <laughs> but it made me a better person for it because it gave me a sense It gave me a sense of hope when I have no faith. Even though I don't completely agree with religion for it goes against human morals and nature, it still gives me faith and that's what I think matters. Yeah.